It is dawn on the Guatemala side of the Suchiate River. These Central Americans are preparing to cross into Mexico, joining hundreds of thousands who come each year. Many of them are running for their lives. This woman will call Paula and her nine-year-old son Eduardo fled Honduras after threats from a gang that is terrorizing all of Central America. Paula's husband had been a member of the Maras, a vicious gang known by their elaborate tattoos. He decided to quit the gang before Eduardo was born. The family moved away, but after seven years of struggling to support themselves, they returned to their homeland. Within months, armed Maras hunted down Paula's husband. Paula's husband, his brother, and their mother were murdered. Paula went into hiding, but soon realized she would never be safe in Honduras. She made her way to Mexico, but she is still terrified. And there is no doubt that among the migrants, there are gang members with their telltale tattoos coming from Central America for either safety or revenge. They have uh, one of the highest levels of violence in the world, and uh, especially uh, organized crime uh, uh, gangs. Hans Hartmark is head of UNHCR's office in southern Mexico. He says that when the agency realized how many migrants were fleeing gang violence, they lobbied to have gang threats considered as a basis for asylum. Mexico is now recognizing uh, people fleeing from Central America due to gang violence. Paula and Eduardo have now been granted asylum in Mexico. I feel like I'm going to breathe air fresh again. Que Dios me ayude. Que Dios me ayude, sobre todo, a salir adelante con con el niño. But more victims of gang violence will pour into Mexico as long as Central American countries cannot provide safety to their own citizens.